Hey guys, Redhawk453 here, aka the Redhawk Gaming, also DJ Nameless. So, the thing is, I want to be able to tell you guys uh, some things that have been bothering me lately. Um, firstly, I've, I've made my mistakes in my life. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, nobody's perfect, honestly. Just, I've made my mistakes on you know things just like everybody else of course you know I'm not trying to say that I'm some kind of you know I'm not trying to be cocky or anything I'm not trying to be saying that you know I am better than anybody else or you know anything like that because I try to get people's opinion on my stuff because I'm I'm concerned that it's not good enough and I really want to make some stuff for you guys that's good, that you, you like to listen to, that you'll enjoy. But I'm I'm just, I'm trying hard and I just, I don't know. I guess the one thing I'm, I'm trying to do is just kind of work at somewhere at some point where I can make music making my career. And honestly, I hope to get better with it. But I want to go to school and everything for it. I mean, people have said that I've done pretty good just from off of the stuff that uh, I've done so far. One of the main reasons that I, I wanted to make this vlog was to tell you guys that some of the things that have been on my mind lately. I remember I keep thinking back to um, vlog the first vlog that's... Well, it's not the first vlog I've made, but it's certainly the first one that I decided that I'm going to keep on this channel. It's it's a big point in my life when I was going through some stuff and I just had a recent breakup and it's it's almost been a year since that uh like it's been about 10 months since I made that and it just, I don't know, it, it's kind of weird to think back on it, um, you know, because just a couple of days ago, like literally two days ago, there was, um, the two, it would have been my uh, exes and I, two years, you know, at first it seemed like I didn't care, the only reason I care is because like I just, I want to be done with this whole, you know, we're arguing type thing, um, like, I ended up, um, getting angry, because, to explain the situation, she tried to, she was going to try to get me back with this program that she bought, and I, I offered, you know, I thought it was the right thing to do, I offered 40, you know, to pay her back the $40 she had spent on it, and then... I said, just let me know if we can be friends. And then a month later, I say, okay, I get it. You don't want to be friends. You know, I didn't say it in a mean way. I just, you know, I pretty much calmly said, you know, I, I understand you don't want to be friends. It's okay. You know, I, I guess I'll leave you alone. And then I said, bye. And she goes, wait, I do think I deserve money. And I got, I got honestly pretty mad about that. And I like she doesn't understand why. And then I just talked to her recently to try to get, you know, to try to patch things up, you know, just kind of be friends. And because, uh, like, I don't, I, you know, it bothers me that I had to leave her um, because I've normally been the one to have their heart broken in all my relationships. Um, but this is the one that I had to break my own heart in order for her to be happy. That's one of the reasons, plus the fact that I could tell I wasn't happy. And what's the point of going through a relationship if you're not happy with the other person? Because it's, it's just not worth it. Like, I don't understand how you can sit there and push through it and be miserable your whole life. And I wanted to live my life happy. I mean, 
granted I'm still I'm stressed out at the moment but I mean as far as everything else goes like it's just it's crazy um so much has changed since then but I mean anyways back to uh, what I was saying getting a little off topic here um it's because my brain is kind of out of it right now now anyway so she goes like i asked i texted her and she's just like why do you care about me all of a sudden i just i said i have cared that's why i gave you time and that's why i gave me time to just kind of cool down so we could talk about things just kind of you know fix some stuff anyways like so she she sat there getting mad at me like I'll read the conversation I'm not gonna say her name I'm not gonna show you a picture um for all of you that for you know saw the gaming video that her and I did we were playing Five Nights at Freddy's and she was the one that was like super scared of it um and she had nightmares from it but so I, I made a mistake of posting something where it said you know the only thing worse than being in a relationship for a year is being in a relationship for a year and a day and i posted it saying try a year and two months because you know that's how i felt about it at the time and you know it's how i still kind of feel every now and then but i know it wasn't completely bad it's just you know the type of person she is i guess um kind of influences me to do that but I deleted it. She goes, I said, hey, I'm sorry about being an ass. And she goes, yeah, I bet you are. Posted that, like a picture of her phone where it says that. And she goes, yeah, bet you are. Real sorry. And I said, I was wrong to post that. I'm really sorry. Lately, I've been dealing with a lot of stress and I handled it the wrong way. I know our relationship wasn't bad. I think about the good times and memories. <laughs> on my way to work, you know, like every time, I, it'll pop up every now and then where I think about all the things that, you know, all the good times, and, you know, I wanted to have that as friends, and I wanted to kind of let it all just be in the past. Um, I said, I really just want to be friends. You can't keep living, acting like you mean nothing to me. I deleted the post. I showed her a post that I publicly apologized. Why do you suddenly care about me anyway? I have cared about you. That's why I gave you myself time before I talk to you again. Why are you even bothering to talk to me? Aren't you working on your perfect life with your perfect girlfriend? And which is kind of over exaggerated type thing. And she let me explain the type of person she is to you. And I'm not saying this to kind of give her a bad rep or anything, because that's why I'm not giving out her name or anything. But she was really a selfish person when we were in a relationship because if I did something she wasn't happy about she wouldn't talk to me or she would just give me the silent treatment type shit and <coughs> she it's all about her it, it's got to be all about her and that's what bothers me I hate that kind of attitude I hate that kind of attitude where you know she was always it's you know I'm top thing I'm top priority all the time it's important it's it's kind of annoying and it's it's something I had to deal with and you know I'm trying to just ignore it because I wanted to make peace but honestly I believe that people should be you know first of all I believe that people should be happy with their relationship I also believe that anything that you want should come to be sacrificed in a relationship so that the other person can be happy every now and then. I sacrifice so much time with my friends. Like, I feel like such an asshole, and it still hurts to this day to know just how much time I have been, you know, I've taken out of spending time with my friends just to either go see her or just, you know call her and make sure she's okay because she was very suicidal and it's not something that I can just leave secret anymore you know if she gets brought somewhere I hope she does if she's still as bad as she used to be 
Like, there were times when I thought that she was going to off herself, and I just, I sat there literally after school for like an hour straight on my parents' phone minutes, just making sure she she didn't do anything. And yet she doesn't want to see the devotion that I've, the, like, the, the time that I've put into making sure she didn't kill herself so she can be with her perfect boyfriend right now. She wants to sit there and say, you know, well, you know, you're, aren't you working on your perfect life with the perfect girlfriend? Like, I fucking, you know, you know, did something completely horrible. Yeah, I broke her heart, but you know what? She needs to learn to be grateful for that because she's with someone she's a lot happier with. Again, it's all about her. I said, I know you're mad. I said, things aren't perfect, actually, but we are working on things. I said, I know you're mad, but all I ask is that you calm down and consider what I'm saying, please. She goes, why should I? You were horrifically rude and nasty to me. No. I I got upset at the fact that she said after a month of not even bothering to try to talk to me that she wanted $40 from me, you know, the $40, which I did that as a nice gesture, but I feel like she abused it and she, you know, I just, I felt used uh, from it. And, you know, she goes, maybe I just felt that it was fair that I got the money back that you owed me. First of all, a gift that you get someone is not something you owe after a relationship. Another is, it's not my fault that you wanted to be stupid and go and buy a fucking program to try and get me back. That's not money that I asked you to use. That's not money that, you know, I borrowed from you. I don't owe you shit. And I tried to be the passive person, but I'm getting pretty pissed off about how, you know, it's, it's, I'm always doing the wrong thing. Because maybe I felt it was fair. I got the money back that you owed me, you know, because that's a normal thing to want. After, okay, first of all, she also is talking to me like I'm stupid, which she knows I'm not. After that, I've constantly been thinking and wishing I had taken back every damn thing I got you. Well, you can't now. It's too late. You're the one who wanted to go all out for Christmas and shit. Well, I'm sorry I was your first heartbreak, but let me tell you, I've had a lot more heartbreaks than you, and I know what it's like. It fucking sucks. You think you have it so fucking bad? You know, you weren't, you know... It's not like you were out on the street or anything. Yeah, you're not exactly rich, but you're not. You have a job. You have, you know, your own money to be able to get yourself stuff. You have, like, you have it pretty damn fucking good compared to a lot of people. Because over the course of our relationship, I spent hundreds of dollars on you. Again, not my fault. I don't owe you shit. You hardly spent any money on me. That's because I had no money. I didn't have a job. I tried looking for a job, but it was not fucking easy for me. Nobody really replied to me until I worked at, uh, you know, if, until I started working at Walmart, which really isn't all that, uh, you know, high of a pay or anything like that. Like, you don't get, you know, a million dollars from that or anything. So it was really hard because, like, at the time I was trying to get started with my studio stuff and it makes me happy to be able to have a mixer and have a microphone where I can just record stuff and be able to play on a computer and record a game you know it's it's nice I love doing that I really do I enjoy it and in a relationship you know you should be happy for the other person's happiness like you should be you know aiming for the other person's happiness see what i mean she only aims for her own happiness she doesn't care because she she just she doesn't didn't show any interest in it at all you know she didn't seem to be like oh you're happy so i'm happy no she was if it's if she wasn't happy it didn't matter i literally asked my mom a bunch of times to like you know, see if we could pick her up after school or if we could, if I could take her out to dinner, 
and stuff like that. Like, literally, I had to get money from my mom, which I'm so grateful for, you know, my mom being around in my life because she's really helped kind of form me into the person I am today. She's always been there. Even when I felt like I had nobody else, you know, my sister's been there too. Like, I want to just thank my whole family right now for just being there while I'm trying to get somewhere, you know. My brother is getting somewhere with his music. I don't know if any of you have heard of King Irish, but, I mean, he just, he makes incredible music, and I hope to be as good as him. You know, I mean, he doesn't make the music, but it's it's just the fact of, like, the lyrics, he writes everything. Like, he's so talented, I just, I want to be like him. I really do. But, anyways, um... And she goes, and when I so much as ask back the money you owed, which I done, I didn't owe anything. I don't owe anything. You viciously attacked me, and I did absolutely nothing to you. No, um, one, I didn't viciously attack her. I literally said, you know, started saying, well, that's you know, you don't talk to me for a month, and then you ask me for money. Like, are you kidding me? That's the type of thing that I was, you know, I was doing, like, I was saying that type of stuff, and she goes, all I wanted was, like, 40 bucks, and you lashed out at me, and she goes, and now you want me to forgive you, well, I'm not expecting her to be a little puppy dog and fucking drop down to my feet and fucking say, you're forgiven, I don't want to, you know, be enemies, I mean, I'm not being an enemies now. I'm making a forceful point in my piece right now. I'm putting my two cents in where I'm saying, look, I'm done. I'm done feeling like fucking depressed and energyless over fucking, you know, a relationship that made me feel like shit and over some girl who's going to just end up being a fucking asshole to me right now. I'm not saying, you know, a lot of girls are, you know, bitches or anything, Boats and hoes, boats and hoes. <laughs> but no, I mean, seriously, like, seriously, like, she just is so selfish, and she's not even gonna give me a chance to be friends with her. At this point, I don't even care. I'm gonna let her calm down and try to not hold a grudge if she's even capable of doing that, and I'll let her decide if she wants to be my friend. She can contact me later. I said, I wish I was a bo better boyfriend to you, and I'm glad you are with someone who is better for you. All I want is for you to be happy, even if it means we aren't friends. Um, she's like, just explain to me why we should be friends in the first place after all you did to me, because I can't wrap my mind around that. I didn't do a whole bunch of stuff. In our course of our relationship, she was one of those people that she tended to get, you know, hurt a little bit easier than normal people or than everybody else because she had a you know certain issues that I'm not going to go into you know just you know into um uh, details with but she like and I I accidentally like physically hurt her at some points but I would immediately say you know I'm sorry like it would upset me to the point where I was just about in tears like I didn't I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't, and I tried so hard not to. I did so many good things for her, um, and she didn't want to fucking see a single one in this in this conversation. And then, you know, I said, I when I said that I wanted to be friends, I said it. It needs to come from you, honestly. When you're being friends, if you want to be friends with someone, be friends with someone. Then you say, you don't ask your girlfriend or boyfriend or your husband or your wife or anything. You just say, hey, I'm friends with this person. It's only a friendship. It's not anything else. I promise you. I give you my word. And, you know, that's it, and that's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be, well, do you think it'd be okay if I was friends with this person? Because it's not... It's not up to them. It's not their life. It's yours. Granted, they might have to deal with it every now and then, but the only person that has any 
right to say anything is, you know, is you. You know, you're the only person that can really say, you know, I'm, it's my life. I'm going to be friends whoever the hell I want to be with friends with. Honestly, my girlfriend doesn't really like Dylan because of certain, you know, vibes she gets from him. And, you know, he, he can kind of be a little bit of a, you know, dingleberry sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, he's still my friend. He's been there for me through so much. He's been so understanding about so many things that what the fuck and you know I want to just say thank you to him too because although him and I get into fucking arguments over stupid shit you know he's still there for me as a friend um she goes I need to have a long talk with my boyfriend before I even consider it and at this point she's not making any sort of effort she's dating someone who I tried talking to to and like he does the classic thing but he over exaggerates it he does the classic thing that guys usually do which i will admit i'm guilty of it too like i would sit there and say her you know i sit here and say my girl current girlfriend's ex is a fucking idiot and son of a bitch and you know all that stuff like i get mad about it too like i i get mad at him for what he's done to her but i have a reason to he actually did bad things to her that you know i like you know i can understand on my rage on that one but i didn't really even you know i didn't purposely hurt jennifer which is her name um i'm not giving her last name is what i meant by not giving a name jennifer's a common name so i mean but anyways, I didn't, you know, I didn't try to, you know, purposely hurt her. I felt like crap when I did. And, you know, I was so, so sorry to her. And I, and I showed her that. Like, I was in tears that, like, where, and, you know, I didn't give up where she, at points where she did. She gave up lots of times. And I just kept going. I'm not saying everyone should look at my side and be like, Oh, you're a perfect little angel. You're a saint. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I'm I'm trying to let you guys know what's been bothering me lately. If I say it, I'm hoping it'll just kind of go away. You know? Nip it in the bud type thing. Yo, she's... Uh. You know what? She's dating some you know cocky guy who wants to act like i did everything wrong in the world she he acts like i freaking held a knife up to her throat you know i i didn't do anything bad my mom and my stepdad and them always saw that i was you know i was taking the time to cuddle with her you know i think we rented a movie that was yeah we rented the movie that was the movie that we saw on valentine's day when we went to the movies which i have taken her to the movies a couple times you know i've gone you know her dad wouldn't you know really show interest in any of the guys that you know even her sister dated or anything like that and he said that i seemed like a nice kid which you know which meant a lot at the time you know but it's I'm I'm just I'm done. I'm done dealing with, you know, this all the stress and everything where, you know, I can't even you know. I'm just I'm that's my piece. I'm saying, Jennifer, if you're watching this, which I am hoping you are, I didn't do anything to you. You are being really self centered person right now by sitting there and saying that you know I did all this bad stuff to you I didn't intend for anything bad to happen to you okay literally I told you when I broke up with you that you know I I was hoping I knew you were gonna find someone better and you did I didn't find someone perfect 
but I found someone who's a lot better for me than you. And that's not to say that you were a bad girlfriend or anything. It's just saying that I found a relationship more fitted to me. You know, someone who's a lot happier for me. And I wish you could just be happy for me. But apparently you can't do that because you'd rather be a jerk to me. You know, I you I don't owe you anything. I offered as a nice guy something and you abused it. So you know what? I'm done. You don't want to be friends. I get it. You don't want to be friends. You don't need to sit there and talk to your boyfriend about it. You know what? Freaking screw it because you're not. Nothing's gonna be the same anyways. The way your attitude is going, you're not gonna, you know, make peace or you're not gonna, you know, be uh, my friend without bringing up all this shit or you know, not even gonna want to talk to me or hang out or anything. So you know what? I'm saying at this point that I'm letting you go completely out of my life. I'm being done with this because I can't do it anymore guys that's that's the main issue that I've had is it's just been bothering me so fucking much I mean another issue is just like it's it's you know like I said earlier the whole you know I want to make music for you guys um type thing like I want to make music as a career if I'm lucky enough and I want you guys to know that I'm working really hard on some stuff right now and I'm trying to just do it through all the stuff that I you know have to deal with you know there's a lot of money spending that I have to do um whether it's just for me or for the household I'm not saying that they're bad people they're not they're really really great people it's just that you know there's a lot of tension as far as you know making sure bills get paid and everything um, but it gets done. So I guess I should be grateful for that though. Cause I'm not, you know, I'm not homeless right now, but I'm not living at my mom's anymore either, which is also a really big change for me. It really kind of hurts because, you know, I want to be able to just, you know, text my mom and stuff, but you know, it's been a while. Like last night was the first time in a while that I've texted her and I felt so bad. Like I wanted to start crying because like, I thought she was mad at me because I thought, you know, she thought that I wasn't going to text her anymore or something, and I don't want my parents to think that. I want everybody who's watching this video to know that, like, it, it, that's in my life. You know, I want them all to know that it's something that I am just absolutely trying to just, I'm trying to get my life organized. I'm trying to get less stressed I'm trying to you know deal with some some issues I'm trying to work I'm trying to make sure I make enough money for Robin and I Robin is my girlfriend's name um but yeah so I mean I'm, I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff um also to those people who are sitting there you know tormenting me during uh you know the live stream if you're watching this I'm gonna put it all behind me I forgive you because that really really messed me up so I mean that's just kind of where I stand at that um, as far as a door giveaway I don't know what the hell a door giveaway is so if someone could explain that to me that'd be great um, I just I, don't know. I need to just try to just get my life organized at this point that's why I haven't posted much and I'm sorry because I know you guys probably are like, you know, he's getting better. I want to see some of his new stuff. Because I have some new stuff that's ready. It's just, I need to have the, um, oh, fuck. I don't know. I just need to get my life organized, that's all. Um, but, yeah. So, um, hopefully, guys, to update you also, I might get a capture cartoon. Especially since I have this bad boy. And no, not just an Xbox One controller. I have the whole console sitting right here next to me, which is fantastic. I love it, but I just I need to um, get a capture card for it so that you guys can have some fun with me on the game. Um, it'd be great to take off somewhere, whether it's even if it's just somewhere where I can just make a living off of it, where I can just keep my daily life going. Um, 
and still managed to maybe get a couple things extra as far as that goes for, you know, my stuff. But there's a long way I have to go for that. I understand that. And I'm just, I'm, I'm hoping you guys will be there with me. So I'm sorry I, I've talked on and on and on. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Um, please go check out my gaming channel. You know, check out some of the videos. Just give them some love. You know, show them, show me, like, tell me what you think I should do maybe for games or just methods of editing or anything, you know. Like, I need your opinion, you know. I want, I want to know what I should do and I'm still very inexperienced with a lot of things so um just even with music too so anyways guys I will see you guys later so thank you so much everyone and as always I will see you I'm just kidding no no just just no absolutely not. <laughs> no not that one either just kidding. You see what I did there? <laughs> no. Anyways, guys, I don't really know what to do for an outro usually, so I just go. Bah, bah.